Hi, hi everyone, welcome. My name is Confidence and this is Confidence Uncut. I make videos about fashion, beauty, lifestyle and life experiences. So if today is your first time on here, please, please subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you would be in the know anytime I upload new content. And to my existing family, you know how it is. Eh, eh, eh. It's unfiltered, uncensored, unapologetic, and a lot of fun. And today we are going to have a fun video. If you remember, I had a friend of mine and my makeup artist a few um, weeks back, uh, back, he came in to do um, a competition. I don't know if we got it wrong or right. Well, it's not a competition, like a game thing, whether we got it wrong or right, yeah. But then today, I brought him in so that he can give us uh, the tutorial of tutorials, how to have, you know, beat that face. So I would love to welcome Amos, hi. <laughs> yes, hey, most welcome, darling. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm first glad to things, be back. First things first. Yes, we're dealing with vaccines and all. Yeah. We still need to sanitize. Very, yes. very important. Okay, so what are we going to be doing today? We are going to make sure your face is snatched, <laughs> and then we are going to do that Not too. Not even beating. No, we are going to snatch, snatch the face. <laughs> yes, but then we are going to do it all in right. a tutorial form. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to teach people. So please. Take your pens and papers, and yeah. if you have your kit, you can join us do this yes. together. Yes, why not? Yes. Let's do this. And if you watch this video and you're able to make uh, do your own look with the way Amos is going to show, send us a photograph. We'll post you. Okay, so we know you're watching. <laughs> so first of all, most what we need to do is make sure the face is properly prepped and primed. And I think Mama Confidence has prepped her face so what you're going to do is going to use i only use like my serum your serum here so you you need to still use the yeah so you're going to use that charlotte so very instant moisturizing primer to get her face ready and then we'll go ahead with the eye cream just so we can relax the nerves around her eye area before we put on any complexion products so these are some of the key products you're going to use them and this has to go all over the face just to prepare the face for the complexion product this is for people with really dry skin, even for combination skin. It, it makes sure the skin is ready for any well kind of yeah, well moisturized. Yeah. Mm. So you use it all over the face. So even if you have an oily skin, you should moisturize. It's very, very important. It's a very, very important step in makeup application. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury eye cream. And that's what you're going to use around the eye area to relax the nerves around the eye and also get her eye area ready because you know the eye is very sensitive when it comes to makeup. It's her own product that's I'm digging in into the pore directly but then if it's a professional work you have to use a spatula to scoop a bit of it out so that you can get that work done. So this is going all around the eye area. On a good day, you allow it like a minute or two for it to settle and sink into the skin before you go in with the next product. We go ahead with the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Instant Sophocal Beauty Glow Primer and then it gives some glow as you apply onto the skin. So this is what we are going to use next. So we are going ahead to apply that Instant Glow on the high points of her face. You can see the Instant Glow it brings to the skin. Let's do the other side of the face. That's nice. I would normally put it all over my face. Oh yeah, okay. Some people choose to do that, but I feel like you don't want the shine all over. You want some certain parts of the face mm -hmm. just to accentuate certain parts of your face. You have a well-structured face. I think it's almost defined and divine. I mean, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. A we good just, canvas yeah, for you. yeah, very good canvas for us to work on. So yeah, I place on these high points of the face. As it's also priming the face so as we get ready uh, mommy has some parts of her face has oily uh, oil producing tendency so with that i'm going to use the 
Renal Landing Mattifying Primer. This product will help mattify those parts of the face that get really oily throughout the day. So I'm going to use that as a mattifying primer. And it's around her nose area. That is where it gets oily throughout the day. I've been able to work on this face for a couple of times and I've realized these are the areas on her face that get shiny throughout the day. So you're applying this and a little bit under the eye. Please look up for me. Yes. Not too much. Because for a skin that is beautifully aging, you don't want it to look too dry. You want to have that youthful glow as you work. Okay, what is that? Did you say my skin is aging? I said beautifully aging. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, people. <laughs> she was coming for me right there. I was for a second. <laughs> Well, I, second I was. Once you roll the tape, you heard me say beautifully <laughs> aging skin. So now the face is really prepped and ready for most of the complexion products. But before I go on with the heavy dew foundation, I love to always go in. Wait. Look at the face. <laughs> it's prepped, properly prepped. Preparation is very, very important. <laughs> so we go in with the Laura Mercier tinted foundation. This is a very good moisturizer as well, but it's tinted. It has a bit of color. And we have it in two shades. Um, that is what I use for. I have the mocha and the walnut. So I'm using the two shades for the lighter and the dark parts of the skin. And you don't need so much. A little amount goes a long way. And I always love to use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender to blend this and buff it right into the skin. So I'm going to start with the dark one and I'll use that at the lower parts of the face. You know, when you look at a face, there are parts that are a bit dark. So I'm going to use this around the side of the face. The Beauty Blender gets the job done quickly and faster. And you don't use so much product. It's very, very important you don't use so much product. I don't like heavy makeup. So I kind of feel like when I have that on, sometimes all I need to do is put a concealer. Okay. And put my powder and I'm done. Okay. So that sometimes I use it as, uh, as my foundation. Okay. Because it's very light. Exactly. Either that or I'll use the L'Oreal um, the L'Oreal one. It's okay, so, yeah, foundations, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, that's a good genuine point, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so it's gonna, quite light. It's very, very light, not too heavy. No, and then when, um, and then when I'm doing, putting heavy makeup, I feel like because it's got moisture in mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it still gives you that moisture, dewy, yeah. dewy feeling, a dewy look mm -hmm, finish mm -hmm. before you add on uh, any other makeup. Yeah. Sometimes I, I sometimes go, uh, even to the point that after putting my concealer, I still will put some on it. Yeah. It's just got this moist, moisture to it. That's yeah, moisture. Yeah. yeah. That gives the face. Which uh, is very, very important because I don't know, people, a lot of people shy away from moisture products and then it's very, very key in makeup application and makeup products because mm -hmm. the moisture is what keeps the face looking very fresh and youthful. Because who wants a cakey, dry out face? Did you just say that? <laughs> Please, it's that? uncensored. He said it. So you make sure this goes right underneath the eyes here. Yeah. You properly blend it. Yes. So that is how the face is looking right after the tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier. So now we are ready for some heavy dew uh, complexion products and one of her favorites favorite is the MAC Stay Concealer. It's unfortunate yes. it's been discontinued, you said, right? No. You bought everything in the store. <laughs> yes. So now we have what, the last few. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's quite, I, I actually compliment this um, uh, Laura Mercier product, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the tainted, uh, because it still have this dewy. So when you have it at on, it just complements that uh, uh, product. Laura Mercier also does have uh, a concealer, but I find it that it's not as dewy mm -hmm. as, as the MAC one. The MAC one. Okay. So, so the MAC one is actually the Studio... The Studio Fix. Yes, yeah, Studio, studio Fix. Fix stick. Mm -hmm. So you're going to look up, you're going to apply it around the areas that needs a bit of product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is because it's hair product, I'm applying it directly on her face. So just to bring some light and volume around this part of the face. 
So going back with the real techniques blender, I'm going to blend out that concealer. Please look up for me. And you take it slowly whenever you're around the eye area because you, like I said, very delicate part of the face. Very, very delicate. And I love this concealer so much because it blends into a skin like a dream because you don't see any harsh line. You don't see anything that is crazy. Yeah. So what we are going with today's look is we're doing like a, a date night look, something really flashy, not too much, but it's still popping, yeah. All right, so let's do some actual foundation work. And then we have quite a number here, but today I'll use the Laura Mercier foundation. Yes, this is the Flawless Radiance foundation. And this is what I'm going to use for the rest of her face. This shade is Nutmeg. Yes. So I'm going to put a few drops on the my mixing palette. Of course, we already have some complexion products on. We don't have to use so much. So as you can see, just a little goes a long way. So using the Juvia Place Perfecting Brush, I'm going to bath this onto the rest of the face. And this, you don't leave streaks, you have to bath it in. So this motion with this type of brushes. You don't drag it, you just stamp it on. And remember to bring it down the neck. Very, very important step. To blend, 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 blend. And then you get ready for the fun part, contouring and highlighting. This has been a problem for most people. So today I'm going to use the Juvia Place Stick Concealer. And this is the darkest, one of the darkest shades. I'm going to use this to contour. And I'm going to use the Liquid Concealer to highlight. So for the placement of the contour, you look for... I mean, there's a trick. Uh, it's unfortunate I have the mask on, but then you do the fish face. You know the fish face, right? You hold your jaws in. Mm -hmm. She has it naturally, so we don't have to even stress. So you start from the side of the ear and you go down. Don't go too close to the lip. Let's do the other side. Then we do the side of the nose. Sometimes you can do a bit of around the lip area just to make the lip pop. And then, yeah, just around the temples of the face. If you want to contour the sides of the jaw, so you can do a bit of that, not too much. The reason I'm applying this now is I want it to dry up a little before I blend it out. So when you apply your concealer, you give it a minute or two for it to properly sink into the same skin before you apply it. And this is up. We are applying this on the high points of the face. Which is the lighter the shade. The lighter shade, exactly. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to first blend the contours, which is the dark ones. Then we move to the highlights. And as you blend, blend so that it disappears. So now you're doing the lighter. No, I'm doing the dark parts the, of oh, the face. Oh, you're still doing the dark I, part. Okay. Well, my trick is to do the dark parts of the face first. first then you then blend the lighter one because it's easier to blend the lighter, the lighter ones one into, into the, the dark. dark, yeah. Okay. So that's the trick. So we are almost there with the blending of the dark ones. Now let's do the lighter one. I'm going to change the beauty blender I'm using. I'm going to use this. Look at for me. Do you wet your beauty blender? Yeah, I always keep them down. Is that how, yeah, yeah. how to do that? At times when you wet it, you keep it down. It take, take away some of the product but then all the same it blends beautifully mm -hmm. yes so you don't have so much product on the face and one trick you could do you is to also use the same beauty blender to apply your primer moisturizer so mm -hmm. like it retains that moisture oh, sure. okay. yeah please close your eyes for me the extra one I'm going to apply it on the lid of the eyes One of the products I've fallen in love with is the Young Blood High Definition Setting Powder. And this I'm going to use all over the face. And I'll use the Sacha Buttercup for and hair under eye. You have to use it in moderation, not too much. I see people have powder all over their face. I know. I mean, the, ten the reason why people at times do that because of the heat, especially here in Africa, People feel like the powder saves them from the excess heat from the sun. But the thing is, too much powder makes the face cakey. Mm -hmm. So not too much, just a little to set the areas that need setting, yeah. I'm going in with the young blood. And I'm using the same beauty blender to apply it. As in the beauty blender I use 
for the foundations. It's appearing like a lot, but then it's just light motions I'm applying. And this blends into the skin like a dream. That's one thing I love about this product. It blends so beautifully. So you're using a setting um, powder. Uh, okay. But then yeah. afterwards, you're going to add yeah. normal powder. No, normal powder. To, yeah, okay. today I'm going to use comp uh, what the compact powders. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now we are going for the first compact powder we are going to use. You are going to use the Revolution Bronzer. And this is going to add warmth and contour. I love to use this powder because of the way it sits so nicely and it's very rich. I mean, this is their shade 04 Dark. So this usually goes to the places you applied your contour. See how beautiful that is. Oh, see, Choco Mami. <laughs> Looks really nice. And it blends into the skin so easily. But use this on the temples of the face. Not too much product stop. Using the same powder, you cover out the nose just to set the places you apply the cream concealer to give that chiseled nose. In her case, it's just doing what's already there. <laughs> She's been blessed with the chiseled nose. These are some of the standard of beauties people adhere to. So if you don't have the chisel nose, this is a trick you could use. And remember to cut it at the edge, just to have that sharp nose. So we go back and now we are going to use the compact powders and we are going to use this to apply the rest of the face, just to bring back the warm. So I'm using some two dark shades here because she is a dark person, not too light. So I'm going to use this. And as I do this, I'm dusting away the excess powder from the setting powders blend 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 and then apply the powder and so I'm you're even... applying light to the lighter part yeah then dark, dark to the to dark, dark part but not taking so much i mean mostly the focus is on the those light areas of the face because the dark part i mean the bronzer did that job mm -hmm. from revolution and i'm loving this brush and this is by a Ghanaian brand called color box mm -hmm. yeah their powder brush how does it feel on your face it's nice you like it yes Go Ghana. <laughs> so one of my favorite products is from the MAC collection and this is their blush and I'm going to use this to give her that flash of color on her face and it's, it's so beautiful on the skin. So you can smell, yes, beautiful. So you can see the face is coming together real well. Let's apply it to the other side of the face, yeah. And then you're going back with a bigger brush to blend everything now. Blending is really key in makeup, guys. It's very, very important. Don't always forget to blend. I times like to bring the blush around the nose area because I want it to cut across the face. And I times the temples of the face. So in her case, that is what I'm doing now. Like the eyes are the windows to the face, so you can't build without putting your windows. You have to do the foundation before putting on the windows, yes. So I'm putting in the window frames now. So you're going to do the eyebrow now, and I'm using a brown wooden pencil from Yusha's. Yes, so you have to make sure you've combed the brows out very neatly. You just have to follow the shape of the natural brows. In her case, yes, very beautiful. So I'm using one of the dark pencils from Yusha's to do this. You follow. There's a technical way of doing this, but then because there's a tutorial, just try and follow your natural hairline. Don't do anything crazy. Yes, as you do this. And then you try and fill in with a lighter pencil, especially around the head of the brow. Very fair three strokes. Just to mimic the design of the hair. So we clean up the eyebrow using that previous concealer from the Juvia, just to make sure the brows are looking clean, you know, sharp and well-defined. And the, the, the focus is really at the brow bone area, nowhere else. Lately, I like to omit the top of the brow because once you do it that way, then it feels too drawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's just a base that plays a role for me. Yeah. 
I know you see some people and it's like, ooh, that's too sharp. Yeah, very sharp. And it looks like they call them ghost brows now. Ghost brows. Is that what because they call like them? Because it has halo <laughs> all around it. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> you blind. Ghost brow. Yeah. Okay. Because of the halo all around it. Mm -hmm. people, and people even mistakenly use like lighter concealers on the top. Mm -hmm. If you want to use a concealer on the top, try and use a person's face foundation. Mm -hmm. Because at least with that, you know it will blend into the skin and blend into the foundation that you are using. Oh, so you're using the foundation instead of concealer? Yeah, just around the head of the brow. Mm -hmm. So that you get the same shade. I mean, it's the safest way to go. Unless you have a concealer that is really the same shade as your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you don't want it to start too light at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's around the brow bone that you want that to be lighter. Yeah, lighter and then have a bit of oomph around that side. Mm -hmm. So the brows are all done. Now we are going straight to the eye and today we are using the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini by Juvia. It's so beautiful. I, I feel like this is one of their best shadows they've ever came up with. We are going in with this shade called Adat, this very one. And with her eyes closed, we put this in the crease of her eye. Blend, blend, blend. For a bit of drama, you're going to use this light shade here called Giza on the brow bone just to give it something, something, yeah. Dust off the SS when you apply it up. Now we're going to go in one shade called Chi. Chai or Chi. This is right, the blue shade. The blue shade. Chai yeah, chai chai, 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 Chai. Yeah, so I'm going to use a bit of Chai, not too much, at the outer corner of the eye, just to complement her dress tonight. Not too much, a little. Just a little, not too much. Yeah, and then for the middle part of the eye, we are going to use Casablanca, mm -hmm. the shade. I think they have very interesting names. Yeah, for the, um, yeah. Palettes. I'm going to use Casablanca for the date night makeup. And please remember to tap it on. Don't smudge it too much. Like don't drag it around. Don't drag it around the eye. Ready to go. Throw on some lip and then you're good to go. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it's coming out really nice. Hope you guys are taking notes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take your time with the eye. Everything seamless around the eye. Are you blending with the same brushes that you applied? I use the same brush for the crease to blend, just around that crease area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just because of the fallout from the eyeshadow, you want to put a bit of squeezy powder. And then this, I'm using a translucent powder, which is the same Sasha Buttercup around the eye area, not too much. So we've gotten to the fun part, and then we are going to throw on some lashes. And these lashes are from Lash for Dolls right here in Ghana Kumasi. I think they have one of the beautiful lashes, and these are custom-made ones that I've stacked in this lash case. And for the liner, we are using the Kiko Felt Tip Liner, and that's why we are using that to line the lash band area for the eye. So you pull the eye area just to give it that stretch. I don't want a thick liner, a very nice feline. I love this liner by Kiko, by the way. Mm. Gets the job done. Yeah, quickly. And it has so much pigment too. really tacky no stress so you just stay where you want it to stay yeah you just use the tweezer to push it onto the skin okay. where you've uh, you used the liner. liner yeah try mm -hmm. to stay in that region okay yes 
Try and stay in that region. Mm. So lately, people have even developed liners that uh, uh, work double as a glue, a lash glue. Okay. So once you apply the liner, there's no need to even apply glue mm. on the lash. Oh, but Just, that's been there for ages. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's new here in Ghana, so. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's on. Yeah, that's on. Pretty. I'm going to use this opportunity to set the face. I'm going to use the the fancy make it do product and just to bring back that dew to the face because of the powders you have applied. And this is the product by Rihanna, one of her best products actually. So, and I like how it sprays onto the face. It gives you it that gives you mist, it that very yeah. misty feel. Yeah, yeah. not like trinkles, yeah. misty. Yeah. yeah. Slow yes. <laughs> there we go. Yes. So this is what? what what's this is a Kiko. Kiko. Uh, Kiko Long elastin lasting. color. Yeah. And that is for uh, 410. Yes. You're using this on the outlines of the lip. Mm -hmm. You're going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick because I don't want it too colorful. Yeah, finishing off the lip with a fancy lip gloss balm and this is in the shade fussy and I think it will okay. complement the lip really well. Mm. Yes. Just in the middle? Yeah, just in the middle. Okay. Just to add that extra shine. Mm. Yeah, very lustrous lip. Now all my dry, my, you know, my dry lip is gone. Yes. Everything's gone. <laughs> yes. yes. Let's do something little about the eye, just to apply okay. mascara, just to May make the natural lashes to the falsies and blend them in and blend together. Blend them in, yeah. And this mascara is for Mana. I like the way they want this. Very Barbie eyes. Just one more coat. Look up. Please. So for the for the under eye, you can keep on depending on how you want. You can keep going yeah. back, allowing it to dry, yeah. put it back. Yeah. Okay, so building up the product. Yeah, building up, yeah. I like yeah. to smudge it out so that it looks like uh, it's not too perfect and it's okay. giving you this hint of shadow, mm -hmm. but it's just the mascara doing its job. Oh, oh love. Tell me you love it. <laughs> love the makeup, love the makeup, love it. So the final touch, I'm gonna to use the fancy diamond bomb. Highlighter and this is in this shade Konya Candy. Konya Candy sounds like a delicious drink. Yeah, it, it Konya. is. Konya. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this brush by the way back to apply that. It's blinding right here. Okay. Now I already have my hair done, so I'm going to take my hair out and we will style it and I'll be right back with the final evening uh, uh, date night look. <laughs> Ready to see your face? Well, let's see if the hair's on, yeah? Yes. Okay, there we go. Oh, I like love it. that. Love, 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 love. Love the blue going on there. Mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, this is, mm, this is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Very so much. Very beautiful uh, date night look. I'm going to make sure that we put all the links to the products that we use in creating this beautiful date and night look. Amos, where do we find you, my dad? You'll find me on Instagram for my work pages as Glamazons GH, but my, for my personal pages at AOA Ghana. And if you have any questions, you can throw it to me in my DM. Yeah, okay. And leave any comments down, leave comments down below if you like it. You'd like Amos to beat or snatch your face, just leave a comment and we'll get hold of Amos. Please don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Confidence, Confidence with a K, Confidence Uncut, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Or you can follow me, myself, on Confidence Hogan across all platforms. 
uh, this time with a C. Thank you so much for watching once again. Till we meet in my next video next time. Stay safe, stay blessed, and always stay beautiful. See you in another episode. Bye.